This is graded assignment of English week 4, which is divided into two parts. One part is on the audio and second part is on the syllable. So the first part says that we have to choose the appropriate pauses for the following sentence as given in the audio. Since I don't have any audio for you all to play, I will be reading it for you. So wherever you notice a pause, we will be having a slash for it in the options. Okay. So this slash indicate the pause. So I'm reading this sentence for you now. So far, as the ultimate goal is concerned, I think none of us need have any apprehensions. None of us need have any doubt. So basically, after looking for the option, I think option A is the right one. Why? Because none of us is a phrase which is said together every time. And then rest B and C option, I don't have none of us as a separate entity. Therefore, option A is the correct one. Let's move towards the second question. Our difficulty is how to make the heterogeneous mass that we have today take a decision in common and march in a cooperative way on that road, which is bound to lead us to unity. Now let's see to the option and... Uh, Examine the pauses in between. So I think that option B is the correct one. And if you ask me why, then I think that the heterogeneous mass is the perfect group of the words which can be a deciding factor. Because the heterogeneous mass, we are saying it in one go. But here comes that and here comes make. Therefore, option B is correct. Now let's move towards third question. Our difficulty is not with regard to the ultimate. Our difficulty is with regard to the beginning. This is the easiest of all. Obviously, option C is correct. As I read, you realized the pause in between. So we have only one pause while we were reading the line. Mr. Chairman, therefore, I should have thought that in order to make a start, in order to induce every party every section in this country, it would be the act of greatest statementship for the majority party, even to make a concession to the prejudice of people who are not prepared to march together. And it is also for that, that I purpose to make this appeal. Now, I think that option B is the correct one. And the reason of choosing option B is in order to induce every party, every section in this country. So basically, this is very clear with reading that these are different, different words. We are getting the gaps in between. Therefore, option A gets eliminated. Because in this country has some different words also, right? Now let's compare option B and C, which can be eliminated by, I should have thought that. Now basically, Thought ke baad hum ek break le rao, fit that bol rahe na. Therefore, option B is the correct one. So basically, in these type of questions, we have to really examine the way we are reading the sentence. So the last question of first part is, let us leave aside slogan. Let us leave aside words, which frighten people. Now, this is also very clear with the pauses that option C is the correct one because we had only two breaks while I was reading the sentence. Now, the second part says that we have to calculate the syllables which we have in the word. And I hope you know how to calculate the syllable and what is syllable. But if not, let me just give a short glimpse on it. So, syllables are the parts of the word which we spoke in break. And how to calculate how many syllables we have? We just have to put our hands over our chin. And when we are reading that word, the number of times our jaw is dropping, the number of syllables we have. Now let's practice some question. So now I'm reading question number six. Put your hands on the chin and see how many times your jaw, your chin is dropping. Enchanted. Basically, three times my jaw dropped. Therefore, the number of syllables I am getting is three. 
Now let's read Pernish. Two times my jaw dropped. Therefore, two are the number of syllables in Pernish. Word. Now this is the word which I read in single go. There was no gaps in between. Therefore, the number of syllables is one. View re created. View re created. Basically, four syllables I have in question number nine. Now, I got confused between three and four. So, like, we have to really read the word properly. Just put your hands beneath your chin and see how many times the jaw is dropping. Bicycle. Bicycle. So, three times again. Bicycle. So, three times my jaw was dropping. Therefore, the number of syllables in bicycle is three. So, that's all in English assignment four. If you like the video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.